Let's do it. Let's make money together. I've got a play that I'm going to share with you. And no, it's not too late. It's not like you're not attending the game. You're just a little late to the game. Let's get the stock up here. If you guys can recognize the chart. Oh, I kind of gave it away. See by the price. It's Apple. It's at 168, 63, 63. Yeah, 63. Okay, good. So we're looking at the three month chart. Let's just look at the one day chart because we can see just took a dump on itself. What a perfect time to find support. Maybe a little lower, 168.63. That's exactly where we're at right now. Where did it test before? 168.14. Where would my entry be in? Right around here, because you could see the volume picking up. Um, the market was getting pretty nasty. I don't think I'm going in at 168.14. I think I'm actually willing to go in about 168.60, 168.59. So this is my longer term play for a stock. Now, why is it my longer term play for the stock? I'll show you the charts in a minute, but let's talk about who's buying Apple and why they're buying Apple at this. So Apple has the iPhone, the iPads. They were working on an iCar supposedly, right? Yes, they have supply chain issues. Yes, there's a lot going on in China. However, here's the catch. Institutions, big banks, the ones that are managing hundred million on up to let's say 50 billion dollars worth of capital they need a place safe place to park it so they're looking for the best of the best now i've mentioned this to my discord before if you're looking at the chip sector you want to look at the best of the best whether it's nvidia or amd not suggesting those two stocks not yet until we've bottomed but yes when you're looking for the best of the best you're going to look for stocks that have earnings. So what stocks are gonna have earnings going forward? Apple's gonna have earnings forward. Tesla already surprised with earnings going forward. Google is going to make a shit ton of money. Um, Amazon's gonna make a lot of money. Yes, Amazon's right about 3,000. And I've heard people say, man, it can go to 2,700. It can go to 2,800. No, 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 I don't think Amazon's going under 2,900, which is why I'm giving out my Apple position today. Because even if Apple goes back down to 166, and let's bring that chart up really quickly, again so let's get the five day chart and just see 166 bottom 166 bottom 166 so if i was looking to get in today actually i'm probably going to hold off on getting into apple i really want to get into apple right around here that might be a little low but if i was going to go up somewhere between 166.60 and 167 maybe 20 and that's me buying stock and actually me buying options as well let's say we're looking to buy options and we're looking to go out three months time and we think Apple's going up even higher than this. Let me just get this up here so you can see. We think Apple's going to like, yes, I'll have to put the year chart here. I would have to put the five year chart because Apple's going to all time highs. You guys don't see it. I can't even show you that Apple's going to $200 a share by the end of the year because the chart won't show it because in the five years it's at its top. I can't even show you 200. So yes, I'm still strong Apple. I still believe in Apple. It doesn't mean, and let's look at the one month chart here. In my opinion, it's bottomed, okay? We don't throw all our money at one position and we don't throw all our money all at once. So if I'm looking for stock, I'm looking again in between 166.50 and 167. If I'm looking to buy options, now which options would I look at? Great question. And new traders and old traders would ask because I'm looking for an immediate return. I'm also saying to myself that Apple will be 200 by the end of the year. So I'm going to go out, probably get a leap year option or leap year options. I will probably go out to January of next year, which makes it a leap year option. And I'll probably pick a price target of like somewhere around 175. So then when Apple gets gets the bounce and goes over 175. Not only do I have value in my contract, but I have the extra time value added. Okay, so that's my opinion on Apple. I gave my opinion on Amazon. If you want my opinion on a few other stocks, you gotta stick around for the next video. Who knew the market was gonna throw up yesterday? Me, I've been saying it. I was two days early in those UVXY calls, but those UVXY calls that I spoke about made money. So I talk about having patience. When you enter a play, make sure you give yourself enough time. When you enter your play make sure you nibble if you're going to buy a contract for 150 dollars ask for 10 dollars off put it in your bid instead of 150 ta -ta -ta -ta. i usually miss entry by 12 percent well 12 percent on 150 that's about uh what 18 cents so instead of 150 let me put it for 132. Okay, anybody that doesn't know how to do that grab your calculator and put in the price you're willing to pay for the options contract let's say it's a dollar and then you multiply it, you're looking for a 12% sale, you multiply it by 0.88, 1% minus the 12% usually find yourself down. Now, if you find yourself down 22% or 25% every time you look at your phone, the next time you're going to buy an option contract, 
Let's say it's $3. You put in $3 and you say, I'm usually down 24%. So I'll take $3 and I'll multiply it by 76, by 0.76. And let me see what I get. And you'll be like, bum, bum, bum. Okay, great. I'll put in my bid for $2 and whatever it is, 33 cents rather than paying $3. So instead of it going to 233 and you finally buying that contract, right? And you being flat on the day, you generally look at your phone as a 233 and you're like down 24%. So if you can't beat the market and you're you're getting frustrated understands there are ways to tweak what you're doing to make you a more efficient and effective trader now if you like what i have to say stay for the next video because i have tips like this all the time